Hello all. Hello all. Hello all. Hi. Hello. How are you? I don't know. I don't begin these things. It feels so awkward. So my daughter loves my little pony things. Like everything my little pony. I don't know if you can tell, but Rainbow Dash. So if you like what you see, then just keep watching. First, I'm starting out by priming my eyelids with the Bulletproof Shadow Liner by Too Faced in the shade White Lie. And I'm blending that in with the Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush. This white base really helps the colors really pop and show up a lot better. And it also prevents the shadows from creasing and transferring. And next, using the blue shade in the Wet n Wild Art in the Streets palette, and I'm using the Eco Tool shade brush and applying that blue all over the lid right up into the crease. And next, using the shade Generosity in the My Little Pony the Movie palette by Pure Cosmetics, I'm blending out the harsh edges of the blue color using the Crease 415 brush by Kala. And dipping into the Rainbow Dash shade in the My Little Pony palette with another shading brush by Zari. I'm packing that all over the lid and this shade has some shimmer and a little more depth to it. I'm applying that all over that blue color. And blending it in just like before using the Generosity shade. And using the Bulletproof Shadow Liner by Too Faced again, I'm lining my lower lash line to help all of those rainbow colors that we'll be applying here really show up a lot better. And I had to put the order of the colors on my hand so I would remember what comes next. And using the Eyeliner Brush by Eco Tools, I'm going in that yellow shade in the Wet n Wild palette. And I'm putting that just slightly off center towards the inner corner of the eye. And after cleaning off the yellow from the eyeliner brush, I'm using the orange shade in the Wet n Wild palette and placing that just right next to the yellow near the inner corner of my eye. And next, using the red shade in the My Little Pony palette called Tempest Shadow, placing that right in the inner corner of my eye. And next, I'm dipping into that green shade in the Wet n Wild palette and placing it on the other side of the yellow near the outer corner of my eye. And using either the blue in the Wet n Wild palette or the blue in the My Little Pony palette by Pure Cosmetics, placing that blue right next to the green near the outer corner of my eye. And the last color for the lower lash line, I'm using the purple shade called Magic in the My Little Pony palette, placing that right on the outer corner of my eye. And then to highlight my brow bone, I'm taking the white shade in the My Little Pony palette called Rarity and using the Petite Eye Shading Brush by Eco Tools, placing that right under my brow bone. And then using the Real Techniques Precision Smudge Brush, taking that same white shade and placing it right next to my tear duct in the inner corner of my eye. I wanted a little bit more oomph to it and so I went into the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place and placing that right over top of that white shade. And then to line my eyes I'm taking the e.l.f. eyeliner pot, the e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush and just lining my eyes. 
I did this because I was going to create a wing but then decided against it just to make it a little easier. You can totally add a wing if you want to. I think it would make it look really nice. Next I'm curling my eyelashes because I never not curl my eyelashes <laughs> and using the Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal and putting a light coat on and then these lashes are by My Lash in the style natural and just popping those on with a bit of duo glue. You totally don't need lashes for this look. I just wanted to go big and make my lashes pop a little bit more against that bright blue. And then after I put lashes and mascara on, I realized I had forgotten a step. So using the Rimmel London Scandalize Waterproof Coal Eyeliner Pencil in the shades Nude and just lining my waterline. And then for my lips, I'm using the ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade skimpy and I'm lining my lips and then filling it in just slightly. I don't feel like Rainbow Dash would be wearing really bright big lips so I went with something a little bit more low-key a little bit more toned down. And then using the Palladio Pop Shine Brilliant Lip Balm in the shade Socialite. Just adding just a teeny bit of that just to add a little bit more life and color to the lips. And that's it for this video. I really like how this turned out. It's very fun and bright and colorful. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give me a thumbs up so I know to create more videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!